Hi there, and thanks for joining us as we discuss the last process of pharmacokinetics, which is the excretion of medications. For our purposes right now, the most important thing to know about excretion has to do with the half-life. And the half-life of a drug is the time that it takes to reduce the concentration of the medication to half the original amount. So if you had 8 milligrams of medication in your system at 12 o'clock and that drug had a half-life of 1 hour, that would mean that there would be about 4 milligrams of drug in your system at 1 o'clock. But for most drugs, it doesn't continue going down at that linear pace. It's not eliminated at a linear rate. Most drugs are eliminated by first order kinetics, meaning that your calculations basically start over at one o'clock, estimating half of the remaining amount. So at two o'clock, you would have two milligrams of the drug remaining in your system. And normally, there's about 5% of the drug that remains in the system after about four and a half half-lives. And at this time, you may be wondering, well, what's the half-life of alcohol? And it's a good thing that you asked. The half-life of a drug is relevant to drugs that are metabolized by first-order kinetics. Most drugs are metabolized by first order of kinetics, but alcohol is metabolized by zero order kinetics. And that means that we metabolize a given amount per period of time rather than the varying amount that is seen with drugs metabolized by first order kinetics. This happens when a drug is being taken in such a large dose that it overwhelms the capacity of the enzymes that degrade it. So for alcohol with zero order kinetics, we estimate that approximately one standard drink is metabolized per hour rather than saying that it has a half-life of X hours like we say with most drugs. Another interesting thing about the alcohol is that it induces enzymes that are necessary to metabolize the alcohol. In other words, it increases the number of enzymes that are metabolizing the alcohol. And therefore, if you've become intoxicated for the first time in a long time, make sure that you're extra careful before getting behind the steering wheel because your blood levels of alcohol will stay up a lot longer than average. Well, that's all for the final process of pharmacokinetics, the excretion of drugs. Thanks for joining us.